recently deleted all of my custom content and then re-downloaded a bunch more. Spring cleaning, what can I say? I was recently inspired by the triplets challenge that Sid Mac did a while ago, where you take three identical triplets and try to make them look as different as possible. Time to test out this new custom content. Keep watching to find out where I get all these CC links. So here we are starting with the first triplet. I'm going to be very honest, I had zero plan going into this, so I kind of had to just feel my way around the CC and then decide what look I was going to do. I don't know, this was a very carefree video. I just, I was just self-indulging in all the hard work I did re-downloading a bunch of custom content. I didn't give the triplets any names. I just called them twin one, twin two, and twin three, which doesn't really make sense because they're not twins, they're triplets. I don't know what more you expect from me at this point, but the first twin triplet, twiplet, is going for a more Y2K style. I just like it. I know it's trending. I know there's like a million pieces of custom content that are Y2K anyway. It's just like, it's going to happen, okay? It fills me with nostalgia and makes me feel very happy and that's why we're doing it and you're gonna stop questioning me now. I didn't really know who to make the triplets anyway. Sorry, the twiplets. I just made a random sim because I feel like I haven't done that in a while either. For all my cast videos, I just used townies. But I just made a sim that had very Middle Eastern features because I mean, that's what I am. And also I was taught to think my nose was ugly because I have a bump on my nose. So I really wanted to challenge that. The Sims 4 is a game about representation and I'm going to take every chance I get. Thank you very much. And let me just say she's a cutie. Although the hairstyle that I gave her initially, like right off the bat, the default sim is a little wonky, but it's also proof that custom content can make anything look great. In terms of the custom content, there's a whole story behind why I decided to delete all of it. Because I have been amassing a collection for about two years now, and I just pressed the delete button on that bitch. She is gone. She is in the void, in the ether somewhere. Unless I didn't clean my recycle bin, then she's still in there somewhere, but I'm not going through that. The reason I decided to delete two years of custom content is because my game was starting to feel very messy. I just had like a lot in there. Anything that I thought was cute, I threw in there, which is fine. It's completely fine. And it's not like my folders weren't organized. I did an entire like four hour live stream of me organizing my custom content folders for the first time about like two fucking years ago because my custom content was so messy to begin with. So how could my custom content feel messy if everything was in folders? Well, it's because I don't know. I think I was just getting overwhelmed by the sheer amount of custom content that I have. And a lot of the custom content I wasn't actually using. I had a lot of medieval custom content, which is fine and it's beautiful and I loved it. But I was starting to get really frustrated when I was just trying to play, you know, my at home games, my cozy little life simulator, because yes, I do play this game when I'm not recording. Crazy concept. But then my neighbor would show up with elf ears and a mermaid tail and vampire teeth and like the most outrageous hair you have ever seen in your life. And it's like, um, I work a nine to five. <laughs> I was just getting really sick and tired of it. And I know that there are mods that make it so certain clothes don't show up on town. I don't know. It just got too much and I, would, I just got overwhelmed and I deleted it. This is the equivalent of me cutting my bangs during a deep depression, which I have regretted every single time. So if I ever cut my bangs again, please check up on me. I was also kind of getting tired that my custom content didn't really have a theme, which I'll get to in a second because we're basically done with the first twiplet. Where were we the cutest twiplets in the entire world? This next triplet, I decided to go for a more alt goth aesthetic because I mean, like we have to. I actually don't have that much goth CC, which is gonna bring me back to the topic I was just talking about like two seconds ago and I don't wanna forget it. The thing that frustrated me is that my custom content never really had a theme. Like, yes, I had tons of fantasy medieval stuff, but it was starting to conflict with my at-home games, which was getting really, really frustrating. And I don't know, I just didn't feel cozy playing the game. I know I did an entire video about how to make your Sims game feel cozy and it felt cozy at the time, but I don't know. I just think the spring summer vibes are out and I just want a change. I want an aesthetic change. I want to change everything because it's spring cleaning time. And I don't know why we do spring cleaning anyway. It's just a time to like reset your brain. So I went for a more, I don't even know what to call it actually. Like you can see the background is very colorful. It's very summery. And my loading screen is like from Henford on Bagley. So I wanted to feel kind of cottage corey. So a lot of the items are very cute, which is kind of the opposite of how I dress. I literally have no colors in any of my outfits. My entire wardrobe is just black and that's just the way I like it. That's what I feel like suits me, what makes me feel happy, but my Sims are not me. So they're gonna be all cute and colorful and I don't know, it's brought me a lot of joy. I know probably next year I will take a drastic turn and my Sims aesthetic will be completely different. But for now, this brings me happiness and this is what I'm doing. One thing I highly recommend, and by the way, just before I even go into that, I'm so sorry, console player. I bet this is so frustrating to watch. Uh, just know I'm thinking about you. My thoughts and prayers are with you. Anyway, PC players, if you are going to mod your game, one thing I highly recommend is downloading the Sims 4 mod manager only because it helps you organize your 
your custom content a lot easier. And if you go into your game and you realize, oh shit, some of my custom content is broken, you can go into the mod manager to find it and delete it from there. Oh my, it's such a godsend. And you can move things from different folders. It's great. Now, in terms of my custom content, as you know, I am CC obsessed. And over the past couple years, since I started using custom content, people have asked me, where do you get your CC from? And I never have an answer because every time I am downloading my custom content, I am just putting things into a shopping cart. Essentially, I'm not looking, I'm not caring. That's cute. It's already in my game. I don't know who made it. I don't know who did it. I don't know where I got it from. So if you ask me, I'm not going to know. And people got really mad at me for that. And I felt bad. So I decided this time while I was re-adding all of my custom content, I was actually going to copy and paste the exact links of the custom content into a Word document. And I've also organized it by type of CC. So hair has its own section, full body clothes, tops, bottoms, collections, makeup, eyeliner, eyeshadow. It's all organized in a Word document. So this time when you guys ask me where I got something, I can give you a master list of every single piece of custom content that I have. You are welcome. It was actually really annoying and painstaking to do, but I did it for you. Okay. Now in terms of where you can find this list, I think I'm just going to post it on my discord server because we have like a bunch of channels in there. And one of them is specifically for Sims mods. So that's probably where I'm going to drop it. It just seems like the easiest way to file share at the moment. And even though my CC list is ever growing, I will be updating it at the end or start of every single month. So the list will constantly keep growing. So if you see something that you like and you're not quite sure what it is or where I got it from, you can check my CC master list and it will be there. And if it's not there at the end of the month, it will be there. It feels really good as well because I've already had some people ask me, where did you get your cast background? And I can just pull up the link and be like, here you go. <laughs> I know a lot of people would probably suggest Google Drive, but I actually just like full on fucking despise Google Drive. But yeah, if you want to find how to get there, all of my socials are down below. And this isn't just me trying to say, hey, follow me on my socials, but also it, it, that's the only way you can fucking find it. So it is what it is. Anyway, I, with this twin that I totally forgot to talk about, I really struggled to find like the perfect hair color for her that would differentiate her from her sister, but also kind of fit the vibe. So I'm really, really happy that I went with the white hair. Anyway, we're on to the last twiplet. And this one actually ended up being my favorite. And I wanted to go for a very like dark academia kind of vibe, like very autumnal tones. And I also wanted to do like a hairstyle that would show her ears because I bought these really cute earrings. Well, I didn't buy them. Like I, well, like I custom content bought them, but I didn't pay for them because the custom content was free. I basically, I downloaded. That's the word I'm looking for. I downloaded these really, really cute earrings and I wanted an excuse to use them. But the first two hairstyles were covering her ears and that's why. And honestly, she gave me Bayonetta vibes. I don't know what it is, but like a ponytail and glasses, it's Bayonetta. And honestly, Bayonetta is the most beautiful woman alive. She's not even fucking real. This is what I have to compete with. If Bayonetta was a real person, I would probably consider unaliving myself because they, like that amount of beauty should not exist. And if it does exist, why wasn't it given to me? You know what I mean? Most normal Bayonetta fan. I've never even played the fucking games. I've seen them. I'm recording this on Pride Month. So let me be a little gay for like two seconds. This won't be out on Pride Month though. This is out. This will be unless it's on Patreon then yes. But like if you're watching this on YouTube, it is past Pride Month. I'm so sorry. I mean, you can still be proud. I'm still proud. It's just now companies will no longer want our services. Anyway, back to the topic of custom content. Now that I've gotten fucking distracted. Ever since I refreshed my entire CC folder, not only has my game been running better, it still crashes all the fucking time. So it's not my mods fault, but it's really like reignited my passion for playing the game on my own again, because obviously I play the game to make videos, but it's very different than playing on your own. Cause when I play on my own, it's fucking boring. Okay. I just do my day to day. I have my family gameplay. I have my legacies. There's not even that much drama. I'm just happy to be there. You know, slice of life, something nice to de-stress me after a very stressful day of being a woman. <laughs> but ever since I cleared my CC and I changed it and I just I did a whole different aesthetic, it's really reignited my passion for playing it again. I've been having so much fun on my own. It just feels like an entirely different game, even though I've not even added any gameplay mods. Like I don't really like gameplay mods that much. I'm just all an aesthetics girly. I feel like the moment you start adding gameplay mods, you can never go back and play the original game again. And I don't want to do that to myself. It's the same with Skyrim is if like, if I modded Skyrim too much, I started hating it and not wanting to play it anymore. I'll do like cosmetic mods, obviously, but beyond that, I'm not touching it. But yeah, if you're starting to lose steam on The Sims 4 and you are able to download mods, just redo your entire CC folder, bestie. Uh, but if you regret it, it's not my fucking fault. You can make your own decisions. I don't know. It's another reason why I'm not a huge fan of kits. Obviously, kits really work for console players, but I just think they should add mod integration into console because other games have done that before. But if you are a PC player, just download custom content. Anyway, that's enough from me. Thank you.